Welcome to the Ramona High School 2020 commencement ceremony. Please stand and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Family, friends, and fellow graduates, good evening. My name is Toby McPherson and I have the honor or I have had the honor of serving as this year's ASB president. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the Ramona High School's graduation ceremony for the class of 2020. We ga are gathered here tonight to celebrate a milestone in our lives, and we are honored to share this unforgettable night with so many of you this evening. While tonight is unusual, we still want to recognize and acknowledge the Ramona Unified School District Board of Education and, to dis and district site administrators who are supporting us virtually tonight. Thank you for your service to Ramona and our schools. As I reflect on my schooling, I want to celebrate and highlight all the accomplishments and hard work that every 2020 graduate has put in throughout their last 12 years of schooling. I would like to start by discussing how special the class of 2020 is. We have undoubtedly made our mark. From all the unique and unconventional experiences we have had, the ones that gl we gleaned during our senior year, together and apart, are the most unforgettable. At the start of this year, ASB named the 2020 motto as Adventure Awaits. We have had no clue how true that would come to be. Over our high school careers, we have come to develop everlasting friendships. I have had a past of frequent school changes and new faces. However, I truly feel accepted and at home here in Ramona. The time we had got together, while cut short, was precious and valuable. As the, young, as the young adults that we are, we've experienced so much and grown from every challenge that has come our way. Just as the strongest metals are forged in the hottest fires, as are we, I have a firm faith that as we go on our individual paths through college and career, we are bound for unique and great things. We have only begun to leave our mark on the world. While we may never know what the last half of our senior year at Ramona High School would hold, I will always cherish the memories that we made here with teachers, coaches, and friends. Ultimately, I want to give a few thank yous. Although the time lost was tragic for many of us, our hometown community rallied to make the most of it. So thank you to all the parents and local businesses that jumped at the opportunity donating time and resources to make our last times together great in their own way. Additionally, I want to say thank you to the teachers, the school board, and the administration who worked tire tirelessly to get us to get grades and bring some stability to these turbulent times. I also want to say thank you to my parents. They offered incredible support and wonderful help over the last several years. Finally, thank you to, to all of you for the great times and wonderful memories. I have deeply enjoyed being your president. Good luck in all your future endeavors. Once again, it is and always has been and always will be a great day to be a Bulldog. Now, before we proceed with the issuing of diplomas, we will be privileged to hear from a few of our senior classmates and then our principal. First, we will hear from class salutatorians, Brina Cortez and Joy Burgos. They will be followed by our senior class valedictorian, Rebecca Brown, and then we will hear from our principal, Mr. Tony, New Tony Newman, for a few words, and then a presentation of the class of 2020. I never thought my senior year would end this way. Me along with all my 2020 classmates missed out on some of the best senior year adventures yet. Memories we can't ever recreate or get back. But instead of focusing on the negatives, let's celebrate the highlights of our past 13 years of our education. Elementary school were some of the easiest school years in our lives. All the field trips, class holiday parties, multiplication times table races, and especially the teachers who were there every step of the way guiding us in anything because we were still little kids. Middle school was tougher, but were personally my favorite years of school. Even though I think it's safe to say we all didn't like the way we looked in middle school. However, we became more independent, having six classes, rotating between each for the first time. We were given a taste of what high school was going to be like, but still had that leisure and freedom. And then before we knew it, we were standing in front of the RHS gates, inexperienced freshmen, not knowing what the next four years had in store for us. Four years seemed like a lifetime, like it would be forever until we were that class sitting in the stadium in our cap and gowns. But in the blink of an eye, here we are. We endured all the stress, spent late nights doing homework, procrastinating until the last minute, 
Only thing is, we made it to the end, and we still aren't that class sitting in the stadium in our cap and gowns. And we very well may never be. Our world was turned upside down overnight, but this is still the time to celebrate our achievements. I want to thank my family for always being there and supporting me in my academics and pushing me to be the best. If it weren't for my parents, I don't think I would have been named salutatorian for the class of 2020. Thank you to all my teachers who gave me the best education and never gave up, never gave up on their students, especially during this distant learning time. Thank you to my dance productions family over the past two years. Dancing with all of you has been such a reward and I loved having the dance room as my safe place. Knowing I can do what I love with the people I love is the greatest feeling. Lastly, thank you to my best friends, Sky Vargas, Sol Vargas, Penelope Pollard, and McKenna Reynolds for always sticking by my side and being those friends to confide in. You are all the sweetest girls and I know you're gonna accomplish great things in life. Thank you to everyone who made high school bearable one way or another. The past four years have not been easy. Between having up to five AP classes this year on top of being in dance productions with rehearsals after school, life could get crazy at times, but it was all worth it. Being named salutatorian for the class of 2020 is one of my biggest accomplishments. I know this weekend at graduation in front of a real life audience would have been one of the most nerve wracking but most memorable moments of high school. I was once told that I didn't have much of a social life because of all the AP classes I took, but look where it got me. That stress and endless assignments pushed me to my limits and taught me more than I ever knew about myself. I cannot take these lessons I've learned with me wherever I go to reach my future endeavors. Next year, I will be attending San Diego State University studying in the field of criminal justice. Criminology has always been an interest of mine and I hope to one day be a crime scene investigator or detective. I want to use my analytical and problem solving skills to help people and solve crimes. I know it's going to take a, lo a no great amount of dedication and hard work, but I'm willing to put all my effort into it. Moving on to the next chapter is terrifying. Part of me wishes this was sixth grade promotion and that we were still little kids. And part of me is ecstatic to be a graduating senior ready to move on. But ready or not, the moment is here and is more real than ever. In about four months, many of us will be taking our first college class, probably online from home, but despite that, it's still our first step into the real college world. One day when this is all over, you'll be able to look back and tell this story to your kids. You'll be able to say that you graduated during a historic time, that you didn't get to go dress or tuxedo shopping for prom, or get to experience senior ditch day, that you had a drive through graduation and it was anything but normal. We were the unique class of 2020, but at the end of the day, I'm glad to be a part of this class. Here's to the past 13 years of hard work. Here's to the long dreaded Mondays. Here's to showing up anyway. Here's to us. It is great appreciation and recognition that I greet friends, family, teachers, administration, and each individual supported us on this long-awaited and long-questioned day of celebration. The growth and success of each graduate here is a byproduct of your love, support, hugs, rules, lectures, and even arguments. It is gratitude that I and each graduate thank each one of you for all the sacrifices that you made for us. And of course, I would, like, I would like to greet you people, you beautiful and incredible people, the unmatched and unequal class of 2020. I'm standing here filled with honor and privilege speaking to each one of you. I stand here alone, but represent each one of you. Whether we knew each other or not, we all share the experiences that Ramona High School gave to us. And for that, I thank you. I couldn't have asked for a better group of people to be my classmates. The speech that I didn't think would happen, the ceremony I didn't think would happen, and the cap and gown I didn't think I'd use. I'd be remiss not to mention why we all question this day. The infamous word, what we've heard a million times now, COVID, COVID-19, the coronavirus. These past two and a half months have been crazy, unpredictable, and incredibly humbling times. And while I don't have the privilege of standing here in front of all of my classmates and their loved ones, we're the class that were dealt the hand, and we have the character and mindset to grow from it, more so than any other class, especially 2021. We all know what would happen if Powder Puff didn't get canceled. I spent 13 years in a Money Unified School District, and I truly felt that everyone from administration 
to teachers, to staff, that each one of you played an instrumental role in, my, in the growth of me as a student and as a man. To my family and the family of each graduate here, thank you, we love you guys. To my best friends, Logan, Hunter, Scott, and Isabel, wherever life takes each of us, I want you guys to know how lucky I was to grow relationships with each one of you. And lastly to you, to the class of 2020, thank you. Thank you for all the memories. Thank you for the countless friendships I've built over the years. And thank you for the dozens of girlfriends. Oh wait, forget about that one. It has been a truly humbling experience growing up with so many incredible people. It's gonna be amazing watching my classmates accomplish remarkable feats in society and being able to tell to my friends and family that I went to high school with them. We walked into those bulldog gates with expectations, goals, hopes, and dreams four years ago. Maybe some of those expectations were met. Maybe some goals achieved along the way. But most definitely some that we didn't meet, some that we failed. We each had our individual journeys throughout high school with unique paths. We all made it here together. We were next to each other every Friday night, watching the wins and losses that football season gave to us. We were standing next to each other on senior night where our basketball team rallied against Valley Center. And we were standing next to each other when we got absolutely crushed at Powder Puff last year. And we would have been standing next to each other as we beat 2021 by a thousand points. Regardless, we grew together, got upset together, and maybe argued together. But we share the triumphs and troubles that come with being the best class to ever live. I know that graduation here with all 345 of our classmates is what we all wanted, but we didn't get that. We didn't get our senior prom or our senior walk. We didn't get the senior year we all envisioned. We were the class that had to ch close this chapter of our lives without the traditional ending. Where, whether we wanted it or not, the world gave us a cliffhanger of an ending that most of us would get everything not to have, but here we are, being forced to close this chapter in our lives and move on. We may not have received the movie ending we all wanted, but we received something else, something timeless. Whether you see it now or you see it in 10 years, we have the priceless relationships we built here at Roman High School. Maybe it's your best friends, or the incredible teachers and staff here, or the teammates you played with. Whoever it might be, the people you met here are priceless connections. And our shared experience of losing this year we all expected gave us all something unique. No one else can understand it, so use us. Use your classmates to make the best of this. We might not have got our senior year, but don't, but don't let this ruin high school. We still got a lifetime of memories together. I'm, true, I'm truly honored to have been a part of such an incredible class. Class of 2020, thank you. Thank you, Ramona High School. Thank you, R-Town. Once a bulldog, always a bulldog. I know none of us expected to end our senior year this way. Listening to speeches on our couches instead of on the field. Hearing our parents cheer from the car instead of the stands. I know a lot of us are sad and angry and upset. And yes, this is a sad way to end senior year. We are not only saying goodbye to the last 18 years of our lives, but we don't get to balance out the hurt with fun memories of prom, senior trips, senior sports, and many other benchmarks we have looked forward to and will never experience. Ironically, being sad about this end makes us the lucky ones. We are able to be so somber because we and our loved ones are safe and healthy. Thank you, Mr. Newman and the rest of the administration for working tirelessly to try to make our senior year as normal as possible. We are grateful. I would also like to thank all of my teachers for providing me with the means to transform my academic potential into success. I would like to give a special shout out to Mrs. Mailer, Mr. Cook, Mr. Jordan, Mrs. Gagnon, Mr. Scheib, Mrs. Cahill, Ms. Brainerd, Mr. Bliss, Mr. Salas, Ms. Hernandez, and Mrs. Granquist. You have all inspired me to push myself hard and be the best student I can be. And I know you have impacted my classmates in the same way. I would also like to give a quick thank you to my parents and my family. You have all been there to support me throughout the last 17 years of my life, and I truly would not be the person I am today without you all. Thank you. The RHS class of 2020 has always been unique. That is undeniable.
That is why I think it is very fitting that we have the most unique graduation out of any graduating class from Ramona High School. From having five people in our Air Band freshman year to being the rightful winners of Air Band our senior year, a lot has changed. We have grown as a class and individually. Take a moment to think about the person you were freshman year, the nervous excitement on the first day of high school, and then sophomore year, junior year, senior year, the beginning of 2020, mid-March before we were thrust into this unfortunate situation. We have all changed and we will continue to change. And that change is what makes us strong. The future will hold great things for us, whether you will be a attending a four-year university, a community college, a trade school, a vocational school, or if you will not be attending school in the fall, if you will be entering the armed forces or the workforce, or if you will be taking a couple years off to figure out life. All of us will be successful because we have learned how to live through adversity and adapt. We have been tenacious through challenges no class before us has ever faced. We were born in the aftermath of 9-11. We were raised during the Great Recession, and now, we are graduating during a pandemic. But we have not given up. Our diploma was not guaranteed. We continued to work and study while a virus was wreaking havoc on the world outside of our homes. Tonight, as you walk across the stage, realize that all your hard work has paid off. All the time you put into academics, athletics, clubs, community service, part-time jobs, all the late nights, the procrastination, the stress, it has all been worth it. We all have our own unique stories and struggles we have had to overcome to get to this point. And yet, we are all here. Tonight, we are all one. We are the class of 2020. We have defied the odds. We have remained resilient, even in the middle of a pandemic. And we will continue to come out on top in all of our endeavors. We are the future, and I am confident that with the knowledge we have gained from our difficult experiences, we will change the world for the better. Good evening and welcome to this wonderful night as we celebrate the RHS graduating class of 2020. As your classmates have so eloquently summarized tonight, we did not see this coming. On March 13th, our time together came to a screeching halt. Now I know some of you, and especially Isaiah Hernandez and Sydney Den, who were in my office when the school closure was announced, were excited as they expected the closure wouldn't just be temporary and would actually just equate to a long spring break. But then, as time went by, we remained closed, and now, sadly, our time together has come to an end. If we had only known then that we wouldn't, we wouldn't be back together, it's probable that we would have spoken differently to each other. Possibly, we would have shown more kindness, generosity, and demonstrated more friendliness to each other. Possibly we would have taken the time to tell our friends, classmates, teachers, and staff how much they contributed to our experiences together throughout these last four years. While the unusual circumstances surrounding the ending of the school year took away these opportunities for many of us, what it cannot take away are the moments that have made up your time here as Ramona High School Bulldogs. It's been said Small moments are what make life great. The same can be said about your time at RHS. Whether it was the moment you first walked through the blue gates as a new student to RHS, or when you attended your first or last Ramona style Friday night lights, or the moment you realize advanced placement classes are like none you have ever experienced before, or that an essay in English actually requires more than two paragraphs, or the moment you were asked to go to the homecoming dance or prom, or when you first heard the phrase, life is epic, or the moment when you received your off-campus pass and walked through the senior gate at lunch, or even during the moment of the senior drive through celebration that you felt the love and admiration of the RHS staff, all of these memorable moments 
are what make up your experience as a bulldog. Sometimes you will never know the true value of a moment until it becomes a memory. As you look back at your years here at RHS, it is our hope that you will be able to look back at the moments you've had along the way, and once you do, you put them together to create a wonderful RHS memory book. In this memory book, we urge you to put in the moments that are most important to you, moments that are meaningful, moments that reflect your achievements and accomplishments during these last four years. Some of these moments might have been in the stadium or the gym in front of family and friends, or maybe most of your moments were with you and your closest friends while hanging out in the library or sitting next to each other at a spirit assembly. Wherever you were when experiencing these moments, remember to include them all because one day, while they might not seem important today, many of these moments might be just what you need in the future. In the moments you've had as classmates and friends during your time here that you will want to remember the most, it's those moments once turned into memories that will help you when you need it the most. You are a generation of students that have mastered the selfie. Taking a photograph of moments in your lives is a way to freeze that moment so you can relive it at a later time. Whether you have physical pictures of your moments at RHS or those moments are currently in the cloud or just in your mind, I hope that you will take some time tonight to look back and remember all of the good moments you've had along this journey. Yes, the ending isn't what you had envisioned, but don't let that detract from this moment. This is the moment to celebrate you and all you've accomplished along the way. Tonight is the moment that you become a Ramona High School graduate. As time marches on, and as this moment turns into a memory and is added to your RHS memory book, I hope that you will always look back at your time at Ramona High School and remember that today and every day is a great day to be a Bulldog. Before presenting the class to the superintendent, I would like to acknowledge students in this graduating class who will now head off to new places to turn future moments into worthwhile memories. From this class, we have students heading off to Cal State San Marcos, Fresno, Long Beach, UC Santa Barbara, San Diego, Davis, Santa Cruz, and UCLA, University of Portland, Oregon, New Mexico, Alabama, Arizona, Utah, Colorado, and Hawaii, San Diego Mesa, Miramar, Palomar, and Grossmont College, Concordia University in Irvine, Bethel College in Kansas, Arizona, New Mexico, San Francisco, Appalachian, Montana, Sonoma, Southern Utah, Grand Canyon, Tulane, St. Ambrose, Biola, Northern Arizona, and San Diego State Universities. College of Idaho, Reedley College, UTI Rancho Cucamonga, the University of Redlands, Brigham Young University, the United States Army, and the United States Marines. We are confident you will use the moments and memories that you made here at RHS to help you as you venture out into the world, and we wish you well. Superintendent Grace, would you please join me at the microphone? Mrs. Grace, as principal of Ramona High School, and on this day, June 4th, 2020, it is my pleasure to hereby certify that students in the RHS class of 2020 have completed the requirements for receiving a high school diploma in the Ramona Unified School District. On behalf of the Ramona Unified School District, in my capacity as superintendent, I proudly accept the class of 2020. I congratulate each young lady and gentleman who will receive a diploma by satisfactorily completing the required course of study adopted by the governing board of Ramona Unified School District and accepted by the state of California. Congratulations students and thank you to the parents, guardians, family and friends who supported this exceptional group of young adults 
in achieving this milestone in their lives. Our final speaker this evening will be Senior Class President Megan Graham. Good afternoon, Class of 2020, parents, family, and friends. If you had asked me what I thought senior year would be like this last August, I can't imagine that a global pandemic would have been part of the plan. However, whether this year went to plan or not, I cannot help but be amazed by the resiliency and positivity that the class of 2020 has instilled in one another. In a time of uncertainty and difficult decisions, never once have I watched one of my peers let these situations get the best of them, nor allow their friends and family to fall down either. Dreamers, thinkers, and doers who do not let the state of the world determine the strength and attitude we will bring to the table. That is why, even though this is not the goodbye I, or any of us for that matter, had dreamed of, I can't help but feel proud that I get to be a part of the class that will go down in history textbooks by the time we have seniors of our own in high school. I want to thank not only our friends and family who have walked this difficult road with us, but also the entire community of Ramona this wonderful small town of ours that banded together to ensure that we went out with a bang. It reminded us what it means to be part of a community that cares. And though we are leaving this small town behind to pursue our dreams, it will always take up the best part of our hearts. We won't forget the lessons we learned, the friendships we have made, and all the wonderful craziness that comes along with living in our town. Now in our final act together as the class of 2020, I invite you to stand wherever you may be and join me in the turning of the tassel. On the count of three, we will turn our tassels from right to left. Three, two, one. We now invite every graduate of the RHS class of 2020 to enter their vehicles and safely drive to Ramona High School for the issuance of diplomas. Have a safe and enjoyable evening.